Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a nice UI tab bar like you see in the iPod application on your iPhone or iPod. It has a nice little section at the bottom, keeps everything separated really nicely, they should navigate to and from very easy. So make a new window based as always, and let's call it uh, tabs. Okay. This, like most of my work, is done via code, not through interface builder. So go ahead and make a UI view controller and call it first view. And then make another one. Guess what? Witty name gonna call this one. That cost me, didn't it? Second view. Now we're gonna make this entire thing in the delegate because you want to load all these views at the start. And this is very important for later on use because it can cause problems and require some forethought to your app construction if you're gonna use a tab bar at the bottom. First of all, let's make um, properties for our uh, two view controllers, which we haven't imported yet, which we should do now. Import first view dot h and import second view dot h that could have been very bad okay first view we're going to call it view controller one and property and atomic retain second view and then view controller two now we're also going to need a another property for atomic chain UI tab bar controller I'm gonna call it main tab and also one more I know you think it's a lot of effort but it's going to learn how the actual how these views work because when you're adding function later on to your views you need to think where the data is coming from because these are all loaded at the very start so your video loads will not always be so reliable later on. Well they will be, just you have to think about where the data and timing is going to be worked around. So back into your M file and synthesize uh, view controller to synthesize okay I'm going to do this very quick way. Uh, comma view controller one uh, main tab tabs array that's our four objects. Okay, now down here is where it gets tricky because each view controller requires a nav controller. It requires some messing around, but okay, to begin with. Main tab equals UI tab controller and lock in it. You don't need a frame or anything, just declare it. It's a very smart object. Now, view controller one is equal to, of course, as always, first view a lock in it. Alright, still the same. Now we want to have a name at the bottom of the bar. So view controller one dot title equals let's call it view one. And then now we need to assign a navigation controller. So UI navigation nav UI navigation controller, let's call it nav1 equals UI navigation controller, a lock in it with root view controller and view controller1. Okay, that's okay for now. And now that we've assigned that, we can release view controller one because it's now a part of nav one. Now, same thing for view controller two equals second view a lock in it. View controller two dot title equals view two. And then same thing, UI navigation controller. Nav two equals UI navigation controller lock in it with 
uh, root control name, view controller two. Make sure you got these. Don't get these confused. Keep an eye on the one, twos, and threes. Give them different names. It makes you feel better. Uh, view controller two release. Okay. Now to get these to work together, we have to do some little funky work. So a few minutes ago, we declared a um, an array, which is going to be very useful now because we need to do something. Oops, sorry, we need to put these into an array. So tabs array equals NS array lock in it with in it with objects nav one nav two. Okay. Now what this is doing is it's gonna put all of our uh navigation controls into an array. Now what I want this to what I want to use, utilize these with now is to put these into the navigation bar. So main tab dot view controllers. This, if you command click view controllers, it's an object of UI tab controller equals tabs array. Now the final part is to add this to the view. So self dot window add sub view main tab dot view done build and go we released our view controllers so we've added our array and there we go View one, view two, view one, view two. Both have nav controllers. Both go through another. You can add whatever you want. You can add many more buttons. You can add images, custom images. You can specify where you want these to be. Um, you can add customization in. This is a nice little basic. A few lines of code. Very easy to navigate around. It took all of a few minutes to do and doesn't require using a nib at all. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Goodbye.